Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I left you off with uh, uh, got the uh, aileron cut free and all that business. Got this all sanded, um, ready for the leading edge sheeting, um, which I'm going to do uh, pretty soon. I want to get the trailing edge of the wing um, actually dealt with first, and then I'll jump to jump to the aileron. So I will show you what I'm working on here. All right, so um, there is a uh, there is an airworthiness directive on the Mini Max where this was the traditional method of installing these uh, trailing edge pieces. Is it was only glued to the single rib uh, structure right here. Um, what the directive says is that you actually have to add some material so there's more glue surface because on some uh, aircraft. Um, this had a tendency to actually pull away uh, from the rib and as you can imagine uh, top surface pulls away and um, uh, you've got a pretty serious problem so uh, so what I've uh, what I've got um, set up over here actually is uh, I made a bunch of uh, kind of one by two one by two pieces and uh, I have a diagonal cut across them uh, here. So basically I'm getting two of what I need out of one piece. And then uh, as you can see, once we get that piece um, in place, if you can imagine this is already cut in half, uh, this will actually go right there. Um, so you'll have a triangle and there'll be 45 degree edge right here that matches, matches this one. And uh, what that, uh, what that does for us, as you can see, is we get this in, oops, sorry, um, we get this whole inch of a, we get this whole additional inch of material out here that's making contact on both sides. So we get it there and we get it over here. This one gets flipped over, but uh, just imagine the triangle there, but you'll see the triangle here in a second. So uh, we get all that additional gluing surface, which helps eliminate that uh, need for the uh, tightness of the fabric to pull that uh, trailing edge piece away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all of these um, in half. And of course, I'm building, cutting enough for two wings, not just this one, um, uh, two wing halves. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, and then I will figure out how I'm going to uh, get the 45 degree bevel on them and we'll get that done and hopefully we can get uh, something epoxy together here. All right, cool. just uh, set up just set up a uh, piece of 45 degree material um, and uh, clamped it down and what that'll allow me to do is uh, is just push this up against there and then I can easily sand my uh, 45 degree um, and I uh, did one here as a test so I'll show you that so that's right here and so how that actually works out is uh, just sits right in here and follows this 45 degree that's already there. So it just looks like that. Um, 
and you can see that after uh, I get these in place, I'll actually come back and, uh, and take care of the rib part itself and get that trimmed back the way it belongs. But these will get epoxied to both the side of the gusset and uh, all of this surface right here. And that'll make for a really tidy, uh, very strong um, joint at each one of those locations. So, cause there'll be one on, one on each side. Now what I'll have to do is, uh, I have to do a, a 22 needed for the plane. And so I have to do 11 um, this way. Then I have to move the rig around to the other side and do uh, 11 the other way. So, all right, so let's get some of these sanded. Okay, those are all done for uh, for for this wing. Uh, I got them all sanded and everything, so those are good to go. And they, uh, I was going to show you, they look like that um, when they're in place. So we'll clamp. I'll get some clamps kind of arranged and get everything in position. I'll figure out how I'm going to clamp this. I believe I'll I'll do it with a uh, probably one of the other. One of the heavier clamps. These uh, these aren't quite giving it enough uh, enough tension. Maybe some of those metal spring clamps would have been better for that. Uh, would have provided enough tension on that. Um, but either way, these uh, clamps will work great for the side pieces. And I'll just need to figure out how to clamp the other piece, and then uh, we'll get uh, we'll get this. Um, lower piece uh, put in place, which is like super cool. All right. All right, this one, uh, this one here, because this section right here on the top and the bottom actually get fully sheeted with plywood. Um, there's no need for them on the inside, uh, on the inside here. So uh, this just gets the one. 
which I will add right here. take a piece of scrap I just want to make sure that these uh, let me move you around here so you can see this uh, as I go along I will uh, as I go along I'll use a little piece of scrap here to uh, put along this edge to make sure these two 45s are right on and then we'll just hit it with a clamp and then it's going to slide so maybe the thing to do is to just put this in place and then make the adjustment That's where we want it. And I'll try and clean out some of this epoxy here, just so I don't have to sand all that down later. All right, so I've got everything in position. Um, took a while, a little bit tedious, but uh, I'm super happy with it. Uh, it looks, uh, they actually look really nice and I feel uh, super, uh, super secure with the setup. So um, I'll give you a look here. And the one thing I've been kind of going along, I just want to make sure that everything is uh, like lined up underneath here. Um, so I'm looking on top make sure that the clamps haven't pulled or pushed anything out of alignment and they all look uh, they all look really good so um, use plenty of epoxy and it's squeezing out all over the place which is a, not a bad thing in this scenario so um, yeah They all look great. Everything looks good. And uh, now the curing starts. So um, thanks so much for following along today. I really do appreciate it. And uh, if you're not subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe and follow along. Hit the little bell so you don't miss any of these. 
And uh, yeah, I'll catch you later.